Hi all, welcome to the video lecture series of Python for Machine Learning. In this video lecture, we'll be discussing about the topic named Dictionaries in Python. First of all, we will define what is a dictionary. In Python, dictionary is an unnoted collection of items and each item in a dictionary is a key value pair. Dictionaries are optimized in such a way that if we know the key, we will be getting the value associated with that key. Since everything inside a dictionary is a key value pair, if we have the key, then we can retrieve the value corresponding to that key. That is how the dictionaries are optimized in Python. Each key is separated from its value by means of a colon. We know that in dictionary, everything is a key value pair. So it's a pair, key and value. So the key and value must, must be separated from each other. That separation is done by means of the colon operator. So we can think of a dictionary as a pair of curly brackets inside which each element is a pair and these pairs of elements are separated from each other by means of a comma and within each pair we have a key and a value and key and value are separated by means of a colon and within a dictionary keys cannot be duplicated that means all keys within the same dictionary must be unique but the values may not be unique we can have duplicate values also that means one value can come more than one time within the same dictionary but a key once it is there there cannot be another key with the same value the values of dictionary can be of any data type. There is no restriction in the type of data or data type of the value. But generally, the key must be of immutable data type. Immutable means once we have declared the key, it cannot be changed. So if you are writing a dictionary, the keys inside the dictionary must be either a tuple or numbers or strings or any other immutable data types. So we defined a dictionary in Python. Now we will see how to create a dictionary in Python. So creating a dictionary is very easy. You have to open a pair of curly brackets. Inside that you have to write key value pairs and you have to separate each pair from the other by means of a comma. And within a pair, there must be a colon between the key and the value. First you have to write the key, then colon, and then comes the value and every key will be have a corresponding value to it so as you can see this is the format of writing a key value pair key colon value in which key must be unique that means in a dictionary one key can come only at one time and the type of key the data type of key must be immutable it can be strings numbers or tuple because all these three are immutable and values can be of any data type. Now we will see an example. The first line declares an empty dictionary because as you can see there are no key value pairs. It's an empty pair of curly brackets. So that creates an empty dictionary. In the second dictionary it is creating a dictionary of two elements, two items. The first item is the key value pair one and apple and second item is the key value pair two and bowl. The third dictionary is also creating two elements, two items in which the first item is a key value pair of name and John and second the key is one and the corresponding value is a tuple that is two four three. Sorry not a tuple it's a list two four three square brackets represents a list. So as you can see that key and value may not be of the same type. We can use number as the key and string as the value or string as the key and number as the value there is no restriction in that case and also the key will be unique throughout the dictionary in one dictionary one key will be coming only for one time i hope it is clear now we will see how to access elements from a dictionary we discussed how to create a dictionary how to insert elements into a dictionary now we will see how to access the elements from the dictionary 
so tuples list string all these kind of uh, all these things we use index for accessing elements from uh, them but in case of dictionary we can make use of the keys and keys can be used within a square brackets or inside the get method as a parameter to the get method and if the corresponding key that we are searching for is not found inside the dictionary then if you are using square brackets it will return a key is not found error that is a key error is will be generated on the other hand if you are using get method for accessing the value then it will return none we will see an example we have a dictionary named mydict there are some elements the key value pairs are name and jack and age and 26 and see how we are using the index in uh, sorry the key inside the square brackets that is my dict of name there name is the key that is inside my dict so in that case the value jack will be printed similarly my dict dot get that method is used in that method also we are passing the key as the parameter so the corresponding value 26 will be printed and when we try to access the key address by using the get method we will not get an output because the corresponding key is not there in the dictionary but if you are trying to access the index address sorry the key address by using the square brackets then it will generate a key error because that key is not there inside the dictionary so the output of this program will be like this as you can see here we have none why because my dict dot get address this key is not there inside this dictionary so the get method returns none so that is why it is getting printed on the other hand if you're using this uh, square brackets since this key is not there inside the dictionary we will be getting the key error now we'll see how to change the or how to change or to modify an existing key value pair in a dictionary and how to ha add new key value pairs into a dictionary dictionaries in python are mutable that means it's not like tuple once we have created a dictionary we can change that is possible the existing ele elements can be modified or new key value pairs can also be added to it we can add new items or change the value of existing key value pairs by using an assignment operator if the key is already present if the key that we are going to modify if it is already present in the dictionary then the existing value of that key will get modified that is replacement of the value takes place on the other hand if the key value pair is not there if the key that we are going to modify is not there inside the dictionary at present then a new key value pair will be added to the dictionary we will see an example here we have one dictionary the name of the dictionary is my dict we have key value key value pairs name and jack and age 26 and see we are modifying the value of the key age so for that my dict of age equal 27 so when this line of code is executed already we will search for whether we'll this uh, key is already there inside the dictionary when that search is done we came to know that there exists a key named age that is already there inside the dictionary so the corresponding value of that key which is 26 now it gets replaced or modified by this new value so if we print now my dict will be getting the output as name jack and age 27 as you can see the output is name jack and age 27 and if we mo try to modify the key address as you can see at present there is no key with the value address in this dictionary so when we execute this line of code a new key value pair with the key as address and value as downtown will be inserted to this dictionary so after this line of code if you print my dict the output will be like this you can see the new key value pair being added to the dictionary now we will discuss how to remove certain elements from the dictionary the first method to remove an element from a dictionary is the pop method a pop method can be used if you want to remove an element an item particularly from the dictionary 
if you're using the pop method the item with the specified key will be removed and the value of that key will be returned if you're using pop item method then we can remove this this method will remove an arbitrary key value pair that means we cannot specify which key value pair to be removed pop item will decide which key value pair to be removed so it is arbitrary we cannot specify specifically say which key value pair to be removed all the items in dictionary can be removed at once by using the clear method in that case the entire dictionary will get empty and we can also use del keyword to delete either a particular element or the entire dictionary as such so there are different ways by which we can remove the elements from a dictionary this is an example for removing elements from the dictionary we have an a dictionary named squares and we have 1 2 we have 1 2 3 4 and 5 five key value pairs and see the usage of pop method we have to specify the key which we have to remove when we use a pop method the corresponding value will be returned so when we use print squares dot pop for the corresponding key value pair will be removed and the value of this key that is 16 will be returned so we will be getting the output as 16 if we are using pop item method there is no need to specify the um, the key that we have to remove but this method will arbitrarily remove a key value pair for clearing all the elements from the dictionary we can use the clear method similarly if we want to delete the entire dictionary we can make use of del now we will see some of the built in dictionary functions first of all cmp it is used for comparing to dictionary then we have len function that is used to get the number of key value pairs inside the dictionary okay so we will get the complete the total length of the dictionary okay number of items inside the dictionary each item each pair is considered as one item then if you want to get the string representation of a dictionary we have, can use the str method and if you want to get the type of the dictionary we can make use of the type method i hope it is clear we shall conclude now so in this video lecture we discussed about what is dictionary in python we defined a dictionary we also discussed about how to create a dictionary how to add elements how to access the elements by using the keys how to remove or clear a dictionary etc we also came across some of the built in functions that are available in python to handle dictionary that is all in this video lecture thank you so much